Hello! Hello! So, welcome to Tiny Epic Tuesdays. I've already played Tiny Epic Dinosaurs on here, so I'm not going to go over the rules too much. But basically, yeah, just going to be playing a Tiny Epic game on Tuesdays, one or two solo playthroughs, maybe some multiplayer playthroughs eventually, who knows. Uh, as it is currently, I only have Tiny Epic Dinosaurs. I did order through the Board Game Geek store, the laboratory expansion, so I'm going to play with that probably next week, and then I'm looking at Tiny Epic Galaxies or Tiny Epic Pirates next. I'm not sure which, but they're all pretty affordable, so I don't mind too much. They're all pretty fun games as far as I've heard. Uh, somebody said the mechs wasn't that great, but they wouldn't explain why, so I don't know if I can really trust them on that, you know? So to go over what we have, once again, we have uh, two decks out of sight, the public and private contracts. We have the research deck. We have three research cards on deck, three public contracts, the round marker, phases, medical leave, all the different actions. My card with my resources. Currently, I have one leaf and no beef, no box. Um, oh, and this beef actually has like a little nibble out of it, which technically probably a flaw, but I like that. I like having things that are a little unique, even if that means a flaw. Um, you know, all the different information I need. My ranch, which it's watered down here. I'm just putting this up here because this would normally be face down as a private contract. But in this case, um, I'm going to have a face up so you guys can see it. Then we have the rival's ranch, which is sideways like this. And it shows a bunch of different information that I'll explain as we go through. They start as first player, all their meeples. They start with no resources. And they have these four cards that I'm going to pull and such. Um. Okay, so let me explain uh, the different research cards we have out. So after you've placed all of your ranchers, you may place one of your ranchers from medical leave into an empty action space and take that action with rancher biometrics. Mobile barriers, you may rearrange your barriers, including the ones you placed earlier, which you normally can't do. And Spinosaurus obviously gets you the Spinosaurus, which is right here, this guy, right? That's him? Yeah, Spinosaurus. Um, and basically, in addition to placing a rancher, you may clear a single sp action space of all ranchers and send them all to medical leave. So basically, the Spinosaurus attacked everybody. A little dark, but I like it. Uh, oh, and I changed things over here, so now we have all the purple dinos in the box lid like before, and then I have these little cups with all the regular dinos and the barriers and such. So, that's a lot more helpful, and yeah, let's get into it. So first phase, as always, is resource collection. So I get five leaf, three beef, and one box. He doesn't get anything for that. Then we do assign ranchers. He starts out, so we're going to go A. He's going to take up the A card, and that gets him two Allosaurus. That will cover up these action spaces. Then we're going to go, ah, oh, my turn. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to want some Allosaurus and Velociraptor. So despite it costing me more, I'm going to have to go for that guy. So we get an Allosaurus into our holding area. And then we roll the, di where, where? Whoa, oh where did I put the die? Oh, found it. Net. So nothing additional happens. Then it's his turn again. We're going to go with B. Nobody on B, so he gets a Velociraptor right there. Okay, now it's my turn. I need, I'm going to need some more dinos. So, yeah, we're going to go... Uh, well, okay, I'm going to go for this, which costs me a supply, because I'm going to need a couple barriers. For sure. Then it's his turn again. We're going to go with this one, which is a D. Nothing there. So he gets two Brachiosaurus. Um, oh, whoops. I messed up a little bit. Uh, after the last one, when he got that, he can actually fulfill this contract. So he should have. Keep it over there. And then, yes, now he gets these Brachiosaurus for this turn. Okay, and yeah, he already fulfilled the contract this turn, so he's not going to do it again. My turn. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go for another. Well, my plans are a little guffed up now. Let's go for a Stego. That goes in our holding. You roll it. Egg. Nice. Extra Stegosaurus. That gets us the two, which means I'm already most of the way to the private contract, but I gotta fulfill public one at the same time. So, don't forget that. Then he gets one more. A again. There's guys there, so he gets to take the Stegosaurus action, which is two beef and two leaf. There we go. If he gets to the top, he gets all these various bonuses, which include stealing my dinosaurs, which would be really annoying. So, hopefully he doesn't end up doing that. Okay, so that's all of that. Now we're going to retrieve the ranchers. And I usually get all of these. Ugh, ugh. It's a little difficult because this is good for not laying them slide around, but it's not good for picking them up so much because it's, it is a little uh, sticky because it's non-slip, you know. Um, okay. So retrieve the ranchers. Arrange the ranch. He doesn't need to do that. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Yes? No. Like this, I think. Yeah, and then we'll drop these guys in here. And drop him on the box. For now. Just so that he, you know, stays in containment. Then we feed, so that's two leaf, one for each stego, and two beef, one for each allosaurus, or two for each allosaurus, that is. And then we breed, so since we have two stegos, we get one more stego, goes right there. And then we refresh, so we get rid of the research cards that are out. Draw new ones. So egg incubator, you pay two supply to add any one regular dino to your holding area. Herbivore Hemolog, basically you get five points if you have the most herbivores in your ranch at the end of the game. And Maximum Habitat, at the end of the game you gain one for every two dinosaurs in your ranch. That's a good one. I've never gotten that one before. And then we, I believe they go to the right or the left. I haven't played in uh, a few days. One sec. Okay, yeah, it shifts to the left, and then we draw a new one, which is three Velociraptors. All right. So, then we scoot that to round two, and we start again. So I get three beef, which are visible, and three leaf, which are visible. And he doesn't get anything for the resource phase. And then assign ranchers. So once again, he gets to go first. So let's shuffle these up real quick. Deal them out. And we'll go with this one, C. Okay, C isn't too bad for me. So because there's nobody there, he gets two Velociraptors. Then we check left to right. Can't fulfill anything right now, so that's fine. Now it's my turn, and I'm going to go with... Hmm... Well, before it gets too expensive, I'm going to grab another couple. Oh, I don't have any supply. Well, okay. I'm going to grab a couple supply then. That'll be helpful. And then he gets to go again. Uh, This one. A. Crap. I was hoping to get more dinos. That's fine. Nothing there. So he gets two Allosaurus. And no contracts are fulfilled. Then it's my turn again. So, yeah, I'm going to grab another couple barriers. Cost me a supply. Get them from right over here. Then we have his next, which is going to be C again. And, yeah, his guy's there, and so is mine. So he is going to do that action. Steal a Velociraptor. I don't have one, so he doesn't get one, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Yep, 
Yep. He does not get one. All right, so that's that's fine by me. Hmm. Yeah, and then we're going to spend the last two on... Rachiosaurus, I think. No. On a Velociraptor. Come on, give me the egg. Hey! Good. Ah! Oh no, I dropped him. Got him. Got him, it's okay. Cool. So I get another one. That's pretty good luck so far. Okay, and then he gets one more. D. And I do have a guy at D, so he does the Allosaurus action. He's going to steal one of my Stegos. No! Puts it right there. Well, that sucks, but okay. So yeah, we're going to retrieve our ranchers. In this case, I will also retrieve his deck. And deal it out. I almost dealed it out face up. That would have been pretty dumb. I caught myself, though. So, I'm good. I'm close. I'm good. Alright, and then I get my guys back. And then we arrange the ranch. So I'm just gonna drop one there, drop one there. Drop both of these guys in. Okay, and then we feed. So one, two, three, four meat. That's all my meat. And two leaf. And then we breed, so I get another Stego. Place the one that was stolen from me. And I get a Velociraptor. Right there. Perfect. So... Hmm. Okay, I need one more Velociraptor, and then I can fill this and that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. Okay, so fed, bread. These all get discarded. We got resource converter. I can use up to two of a single resource type as another single type. And Triceratops. At the end of the game, gain one additional one for each dinosaur orthogonally adjacent. So that's a plus. So any around it. And enclosure upgrades. I don't have to get any penalties when dinosaurs escape. Ooh, that'd be pretty good. Okay. I'll consider it. But in the meantime, we're going to scoot over to round three. And here we go. So I get three beef, one leaf. And he doesn't get anything. And then we assign the ranchers. He's still first, so B. Shoot, I was hoping to do that one. That's fine. Okay. So, nobody there, so he does a stego action with a steel to leaf. Ooh, that's not great for me. So, my goes down by two, he's goes up by two. Yeah. And then I got a... Hmm. Yep, I need a Velociraptor, so let's go for it. Uh, yep, I get one. Then I... Let me move my mic. Apologies for any mic handling noise. Net. Perfect. Okay. Then he goes A. Okay, good timing, because I was... I just finished up there, and then he steals the Stego again. No! Ooh, that's okay. All the contracts I need, that's fine. Um, okay, and then I'm going to do the barriers. Hmm. So I'm going to move Velociraptor down here. And yeah, I'm just going to remove that because I'm not going to need it. Then he goes C. Crap. Well, that means I'm going to have to use the rest of my turn here, but he doesn't get anything there. So he gets two Velociraptors. Oh, which in this case means he fills it up and then he does this action, which is discard one of my barriers. Okay, that sucks. But that's okay. I can make it work. Alright. Now, yeah, my last turn. 
I'll just do it here so I don't have to spend a supply. And I'm going to fulfill this contract. Three Velociraptors. And I'm going to fulfill this one since I fulfilled that, which is the rest of my dinos. Nice. Two contracts fulfilled. All right. And so, yeah, the barriers don't matter because I don't have any dinos to feed or anything. His last turn, D. Nobody there, so he's going to get an Allosaurus. Oof. Oh. No, it doesn't matter because it's been Stegosaurus the whole time. Uh, I might have messed that up actually thinking about it because I can't wasn't paying attention to whether he filled up on the Velociraptors before I got that contract. I don't know. I might have messed that up, but I'm not going to go back because it'd be a little too confusing. So apologies if I did. With all that said, that's the end of the turn. Or rather, the end of the phase. So we're going to retrieve our ranchers. Shuffle his up. And he's going to get another one starting this next turn. So let's actually deal out the fifth one. Okay. And then, yeah, we all get our guys back. And we're actually going to get another guy for this next round. But in the meantime, arrange the ranch. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to put another guy there. Should be fine. Then feed dinos, I don't have any. Breed dinos, again, none. So we're going to refresh, discard all these guys. Sorry, Triceratops. Uh, another time, another time. And then we got the T-Rex. So he takes three meat, but instead you could feed him a regular dino and gain a meat, and he's worth five points. Demetrodon, gain any one additional resource of your choice if he's next to water. And Gallimimus, which is one of my favorites. He uh, chooses one dinosaur adjacent to him to uh, feed, basically. And he is omnivorous, so he's one meat or one leaf. And then we replace another public action. That is any of the purple dinosaurs like these. And then we scoot this along because we are in round four. We each get an extra rancher. Whoop. Come on, get in there, get in there. Okay, and I get a private contract, which is this guy right here. Okay, I think I can manage that. So, resource collection. I get five leaf, three beef, and a box. And then we assign ranchers. He is still first, so we're going to go with C. Nothing there, so he gets two Velociraptors. Or rather, he would, but instead, this. So I have to actually discard a barrier. Um, I don't know if he's going to do that twice because he couldn't get two of them. Hold on. Crap, yeah, does it twice, so I have to get rid of two. Well, that sucks. Okay. Well, that means I'm going to pretty much have to immediately gain a couple barriers if I want to stay alive. And then he's going to go to A, which means it's going to be tricky for me to gain dinos. Nothing up. Oh, I forgot again. Forgot to check. Yeah, there's none that he can get. Okay. And then, yeah, he's going to get a Stego. And that means that he's going to be able to get that contract. So his stuff goes away. And that's his contract for the turn. Okay. Now it's my turn again. I have a couple barriers, so I could probably do some. Hmm. I want one of these guys who... 
Honestly, if I could get, get Gallimimus. You know, I'm going to go for the T-Rex. I haven't gotten him before. Hope this isn't a stupid idea. But we got a T-Rex. Uh, he is right there. Big guy, big guy. Okay, and I don't have to deal with that until he gets in the ranch. I mean, it's a feeding thing anyway, so it doesn't matter. And now it's their turn. B. I already got a guy in there, so it does a stego action. Gains two of each. All right, and now it's my turn again. <sighs> Boy, I don't have a ton of options. Maybe I should get a... You know what? I'm just going to get some standard dinos. Let's go for some stego. Give me the egg. Need to feed my T-Rex. Wound. Ah, great. So both of my guys and my stego go in here. Then we got another one here. D. Crap, that means I'm not going to be able to do anything on my turn. So nothing in there. He gets two of these guys. Ooh. Hopefully he can actually fulfill some of those on his next turn, because having to remove barriers is going to get real annoying. Okay, so I'm going to... Well, I can't, because they're covered up. I only got one guy, so I can't beat any of them, so I don't get a final turn here. That sucks. A, there is a guy there, so he's going to perform that, and I have to get rid of another barrier. Oh my gosh, this poacher sucks. Okay, so that's the end of that phase. We're going to grab all these guys, put them down, shovel it up, and deal it back out. Let me know if this is making sense to everybody. You know, I don't want to be going too fast so that you don't get it. Although, the, uh, the actual guys who made and produced this game, Michael Coe and Scott Alms, Alms? I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but uh, they posted a video playing this with an expansion that made it a little bit chunkier, and it was less than 30 minutes long, so I guess I'm not doing too bad. Uh, whoops. Uh -oh. Bumped the camera. Ooh. Make sure it's lined up. Okay. Gonna get some water real quick. All right, and we get our ranchers back. And I get that stego. Then he gets all of his guys back. Technically, you don't even need to play with his meeples, but it's just better for the visual, and I don't really have room to stick the cards up there like it says to do in the rules. Okay. So that's that. Now I arrange my ranch. So I'm just going to arrange it like so. Okay. And toss him in there. Uh, right. Now we feed. So I'm going to feed him. Ooh, three beef. That's a lot. But I don't have any dinos to spare right now. So, unfortunate. And then we breed. None of them do. And then we refresh. So that's get rid of these guys. Sorry, Galamimus. Next time. Next time. Diplodocus. Gain any one resource for each of your ranchers leaving medical leave. Plesiosaurus. Specifically goes in the water. Uh, may be used as any species. And carnivore DNA logs. So that's five points if you have the most carnivores in your ranch at the end. Then we scoot this over. Draw a new one. Oh no. Yeah, there's still nothing he can fulfill. So I'm probably going to lose a lot of barriers this turn. Ooh, so we're into round five. All right. Let's see how this goes. None of my resources are covered, so I get five leaf, three beef, and box. And then we assign the ranchers. He goes first. A hey, crap. I wanted to do something there, but that's fine. I still will. Um... Yeah, I'm going to need more stego. So let's grab us one. Roll it. Ah, the net. No, I was hoping for an extra one. Oh, well. 
Then it's his turn. Let's see. Okay, nothing there. Um, oh, I forgot to actually give him the Stego that he got. Whoops. Well, there it is. And then, yeah, see, he would get two Velociraptors, but instead, he's just going to discard both of my barriers. Great. So I'm going to need to replace those. Spend a box. Get those two back. And, um... Yeah, it's not going great for me. D. So he's going to put one there. Nothing there. So he would get an Allosaurus, but then I'd lose another barrier. But I don't have any more to lose, because he's already knocked them all out. So it's my turn again. Guess I will go for an Allosaurus. And we will roll. Wound. That's not too bad. I didn't plan to put him in this turn anyways. So, Allosaurus right there. And he gets two more B, which has nothing. So he gets two more Stegos. And hey, he can actually fulfill one. So actually, I'll just drop it off. And he gets that. And then B again, which means that he's going to do the Velociraptor action. Makes me discard. But nothing to discard, still. All right, retrieve the ranchers. So I'm going to pick up all the cards. And grab all the ranchers. Oops, my leaf. His beef. Ugh, knocking everything over. Okay. And then we arrange. So I definitely gotta pop. Pop for safety. He doesn't need to be enclosed, thankfully. Drop that right there. Drop him in there. And then we feed. So it's gonna cost five. Three for him, two for him. And two. Then we breed. Get another stegosaurus which was my hope that i could uh could have done the one that he got but whatever and then we refresh so these go over and we get another brachiosaurus and stegosaurus okay and then these guys get discarded oh please give me a dinosaur pterodactyl you may spend one beef to move one dinosaur from your holding area to your ranch Breeding center, if you have a single dinosaur of one species, you can pay a box to add a newborn. And Moss Chops, my favorite guy, he's so chonky. Uh, all four sides of him are considered enclosures, so you just, uh, or rather they're considered barriers for enclosures. So he's very good if you have trouble with that, which I'm gonna, so I'm probably gonna grab him. Ah, oh, but I'm gonna need to spend, mm. how do I wanna handle this? I'll try and get them both, I think. It's it's going to be difficult, but yeah. And then... Yeah, that's it. So, let's do this. I get my resources. Three leaf, three beef. Then I... We assign our ranchers. D. Okay, D is not too bad. So he gets two, or he would... But instead, I just lose those. And, well, this is round six, so I'm not even going to be able to fulfill a contract. Really? Oh, yeah, I can. I think I will, in fact, do that real quick. Uh, well, five points. Uh, four, six, five. It's 11. Yeah, I'm still getting two more points, so we're going to fulfill this contract. And then also got this card, the T-Rex card, since I spent him. Sorry, bud. All right. Now it's Rebel Ranch turn. D again. So he does the Allosaurus action. Don't have anything to spend. 
Oh, well, I'll do that later. Sorry. Getting ahead of myself. And yeah, we're going to go for this so that I can get a couple barriers. While it's still cheap, then he will go B, which means he does the Velociraptor action. Nothing to take. Um, Then I'm going to I'll grab some of the pricier dinos, I think. Yeah, let's grab, let's grab an Allosaurus. Maybe I'll get two. Nope, wound. Oh wow, I actually knocked this guy standing up. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. There we go. And then we got A. Which, nothing in there now, so he just gets a stego. And he can fulfill this now. Yeah, whoops. Put the Brachiosaurus in with the stegos. So he gets that one. Ooh. Well, they're not too pricey, so maybe I'll be okay. And then, yeah, I think, I think I'll be okay. Any last things I want? Can't really fulfill any contracts. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Okay, um, oh, I hit the dang camera again. Sorry. Rather the stand. Okay. I'm going to go for... Well, if I do that, I don't think I'll be able to hold it. Okay, I'm going to grab... One more barrier. Hmm. Can I do this with three? Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah? Wait. No, I think I need four. Hold on. I think I can manage. We'll find out. And his last one, C, works for me. That means he does a Velociraptor action. Nothing to take. Sorry, pal. And we will grab one more Allosaurus. In this case, I don't actually want to get an egg. And I do. Well, crap. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Uh, well, I don't need to clean that up because it's the last round, so I'll just leave all the ranchers as they are. Okay, so we're going to arrange the ranch. Hmm. Okay, that works. Uh, feed dinosaurs, so I'm actually only going to be able to feed one of these allosauruses looking at it. So, shoot, I messed up there. So, I got to get rid of both these, and I got to get rid of one other guy, so it's a stego. So, I only have to pay one leaf, nobody to breed, and we would refresh, but that's the end of the game. So, now we're going to check the score. All right, um, let's do his score first to see if I can beat him. So we start out with the contracts. So that's thirty-five, forty-two. We'll take these guys, forty-two, 
and then we check research cards. You didn't get any. And then we check dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are three of these. So that's another nine. Should bring us up to 51. Uh, three, 54, and 12. So that'd be 66. I don't know if I beat that. That seems pretty high, but we'll find out. So this, first of all, this is not going to count. Don't want to mess myself up. Then we got 38 to start. 38. And research cards don't got any. Maybe I should have hung on to that. And then we just have six from those. So that would bring it up to 44. Wow, I lost by a lot. A lot, wow. That's the first time I've actually lost one of these rival ranchers. Wow, okay. Hmm. Well... Shoot, that stinks. What time is it? Okay. That only took me a little over a half hour, so you know what? I'm going to take a break, reset everything, and then I'll be back with a second game. So, BRB. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, I am back. Um, so, rematch time. This time around, we've already gone through this. That's five if you have the most carnivores. That uh, feed three different species, gain a supply. Feed four or more species, gain two supply. And this one is the one that gets you, uh, lets you place one from your medical leave into an empty action space. So actually, that one I think could be really good in this particular game. So I'm going to go for that. That being said, resource collection, five beef, or five leaf, three beef, one box, and he goes first. C. Okay, nothing there, so he gets a Brachiosaurus. Can't fulfill anything with just one. And then it's my turn, so I'm going to do a research to get that Rancher Biometrics. Nice. Then it's his turn. A. Shoot. Game Dinos is going to be a little pricey, but let's go for it. I could use some Velociraptors. Bam. Roll it. A. Nice. Good start. Mm, excuse me. Good start. B. Sorry, got one there. Uh, oh, right. I forgot to give him his thing. So, uh... Stegosaurus he gets. And then he gets another two Stegosaurus. Or no, actually he doesn't get them. He just gets the action, which is steel two leaf. Ah. That's annoying. But he doesn't get anything extra, so that's good. Then I'm going to do this because I'm gonna need these barriers. So spend a supply, get two barriers. Okay, and then his last one, B. So he's going to do the Velociraptor action, which is two supply, two leaf. Okay, so that's all of those. We're going to get our rancher cards, and we're going to shuffle them up. And then we're going to grab our ranchers. All right. And now we're going to arrange the ranch, which in this case, I'm going to go like, hmm, like this. Gives us plenty to work with. OK. And then feed. They need two beef, one each, and then we breed, which gives us another Velociraptor. Then we will refresh for the next round. So nothing there. These get discarded and replaced with Ankylosaurus. If you have the first player marker, someone has to pay you two beef to take it. Maximum habitat, we already saw that one. And resource collection, you may use up to two of a single resource type as another single type. Yep, we already saw that one. That one could be very useful, so. Hmm. I think this combined with stealing away that would be very, very smart. So let's work on that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to aim for the Ankylosaurus, so. Let's see, uh, two. That's right. And then resource collection. So I get three beef and three leaf. Whoop. And still a box. Then he gets to go first. C. Oof. Yeah, that's the one I didn't want him to do, but okay. Nothing there. So he gets two velociraptors. Oh no, and that means he's going to take the one I wanted. Ah! All right. So yeah, two Veloso and a Brachio, and he gets this contract. Shoot. Well, that makes things difficult. Hmm. Ugh. Hold on, got to adjust for comfort. Oh boy. Well, that's. Fine, I'm going to drop a guy 
right here. Spend one on a beef. Do I want to spend a beef? Yeah, that should be fine. I'll, I'll get another one. Uh, and then, yeah, we're taking the Ankylosaurus right there. Okay, and then he gets to go. Let's see. Another one there, so he does the that action, which gets him two bucks, two beef. Oof, that means it's going to be pretty pricey for me to do that, but that's the whole point of why I did this, so we're going to drop that there. We're going to drop this here, and we're going to take this back. Okay, then he'll do another one, A. A is okay, so then he gets two of these guys right there. Then it's my turn, and I'm going to finish off by getting a couple beef. And he's going to finish off by doing B, which means that he does a stego action. Steal two leaf. No. Oof. Okay. Okay. That's all of the assigned ranchers. So we're going to retrieve ranchers. And that includes shuffling the rival rancher deck. And then taking all of these guys back. Okay, and then we arrange the ranch. In this case, I'm gonna put these this guy here. Then we're gonna feed the dinos. It's gonna cost us three beef to feed all these guys. Then we're gonna breed the dinos. So we get one more guy right there. And then we're going to refresh. So get rid of these guys. Um, yeah, I did take the first player marker, cool. And then we're gonna get Triceratops, we've seen him. Dimetrodon, and Dinochirus, my second favorite, because he's a goof. He looks like a silly, doofy, hairy duck. But uh, once around, instead of placing a rancher on an action space, you may place it on here, and then collect resources from your ranch. That's a really good one. So uh, I'll probably pick that up because it's always an action and there's often times where I run out of possibilities. So round three. Oh yeah, and a contract up here. Round three. So I get my resources, two beef, three leaf, and a box. And then I get to go first this time. So I am going to... Oh, right. I forgot to actually grab my Ankylosaurus. There he is. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this to get rid of a Velociraptor and take the Dinochirus. Um, is that my guy? That's the guy. Okay. And then Rival Rancher. A. Nothing there, so he just gets a stego. Then it's my turn. I'm going to actually go there and mm. yeah, I'm going to go for a Brachiosaurus. And we're going to roll that one. Wound. That's fine by me because I have the biometrics. In fact, let me spread these out a little bit better. Okay. And then it's his turn. B. And nobody there, so he just gets a Velociraptor. Yes. Oh, and, uh, right. Should have noticed that he gets this contract. Which is fine. I wasn't going for it anyways. Okay. Mm. 
What next? What next? Well, we're going to need quite a bit of meat. So let me drop a guy right there for a couple of those. And then he goes. B. There is a guy there, so he does the stego action. Two beef, two leaf. That's fine by meef. Hmm. Then I'm going to... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to need... Yeah, we're going to need a couple more barriers. Okay, and then he gets his last action, which is C. There's definitely people there, so he steals one of each. Ah! Oof. That's a rough one. But okay. And then I get to use my rancher biometrics, because this guy's a medical leave, and we're going to go for... Yeah. Another Brachiosaurus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might not be able to. Let me check. No, I'm not able to. Shoot. Uh, I thought I was being clever. That's fine. Uh, we'll go with that so we can get two supply. So I can still do it, but yeah, that's annoying. Okay, that's fine. So that's all of the actions the both of us can do. So let's shuffle up the actions deck. And I'm going to deal out five because he's going to get his lead rancher. And then all of my guys go back. So do his. Okay. And then we arrange the ranch, which I'm going to drop my guy right there. My man. And then, actually, I think if I do this correctly, no, I still really need the meat. So I don't want to cover any of those up. So maybe what I want to do Oh, I still have two more to work with. So yeah, I'll put put this down here. Okay, yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty good. Um yeah, that should be fine. Then we feed the dinos, so we need to spend one, two, three meat at least. Uh, and three veg, and then I'll spend one more for my omnivorous boy. And then we breed them. That guy will go right there. And then we refresh. So these guys get discarded. These. Uh, laboratory upgrade. Gain any one resource of your choice any time you acquire a research card. Ooh, that's pretty good. Security force. Prevent one dinosaur from escaping each round and place it on your holding area instead. And dino food additives. You may discard this card to feed all of your dinosaurs. That's going to be very important because I'm running out of food. Then we scoot this over. Flip a new one. Perfect. And then we scoot along. So now we get our fourth round ranchers. And I get another private contract, which is going to be 
this guy. I'll just cover that. I know what those are. Y'all can ask me if you want to know. Mm. Okay. So yeah, it looks like I need some stego, stego action sometime soon. Okay. Although honestly, am I allowed to do multiple contracts? I'm allowed to do multiple, um, multiple by doing a public and a private, but I can't do two public, so. That's unfortunate, but whatever. If I can get one Stego. No, I just want to get one more Brachio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, resource first. Got three. Got one. And then I get to go first, so. Yeah, getting this first player marker is really important in these solo games. And, yeah, I need one more Brachiosaurus. Net, okay. Everything worked out, and we got B. Nothing there, so he gets a Velociraptor. And he can't, oh. Oh, whoops, I messed that up. Whatever, it hurt me more than it helped. Uh, more than anything, so it's fine. Hmm. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna go here. Spend a supply. No, wait, I don't want to do that yet. Yeah, I'm gonna do th this first. Which lets me pull up a barrier, and it lets me drop in a dino. Then it is his turn. C. Crap. That's the one I didn't want him to do. Whatever. Nothing there. So he gets a Brachiosaurus. And there's nothing he can fulfill right now. So then, yeah, I'm going to spend... I may as well spend two then. Since it's going to cost me that much anyways. And we're going to fulfill... That one. So that's this guy this guy and this guy yep or crap no no hold on I'm taking that back Taking that back, and what I'm going to do instead first is I want to get Dinocorus one more time. So that's two of these, one of these. Yes. And then, then I will do it, but first... Oh, please not be... Uh, dang it! Ah, oh, that's the one I didn't want him to do. Or, nope, what am I doing? B, he's going to do the action, which is two of each of these. Oh, geez, he's getting a lot of leaf. Which means that he might be able to steal one of my Brachiosaurus, but that's only if I hang on to it, which I'm not going to. So, now we're going to do this. So I'm fulfilling this one. Nice, fulfilled. Uh, and I gotta get rid of my Ankylosaurus. And then we're gonna fulfill this guy, which costs two, one, and one. So, gotta get rid of that guy too. And we'll pop this over here to delineate my fulfilled contracts. Okay. Then, yeah, that's pretty much all my pieces. So he gets two more moves. D, nothing there. So he just gets red guy. And C, 
There is stuff there, so he gets one of each. And a research card. So the research cards, in this case, he draws three and he picks the highest one. Highest one in this case is T-Rex. He doesn't get the dino, he just gets the card for the points. And then those are all going to get discarded, but not yet. Okay, then we're going to retrieve the ranchers. See, that's the reason I don't play against the scientist, because the scientist, once they get to the top, they get a research card every time, and then it's like a million cards that you have to pull. And that's, yeah, that's really annoying on a small table like this. Thought this was supposed to be tiny dinosaurs, not a large amount of dinosaurs. What is this? What is this? Oh, and there. Okay, and now it is time to arrange the ranch, which, yeah, I'm gonna keep that there. Just scoot that down. Uh, nothing to breed. He only feeds one. And then we refresh. So yeah, all these get discarded, including my wonderful mobile barriers. I love that guy, but nothing doing right now. Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. I always get this one wrong. Collect two of the resource that he's on top of, so I usually put on the box. Spinosaurus. We already ran into that guy. And Pterodactyl. We already ran into him too. These get scooted. And we get a new one. This is a bit dangerous because he can't fulfill those. So that means he can really ratchet it up. So hopefully he won't. Whoops, hold on one second. My roommates are asking stuff about dinner. Oof, hold on a minute, hold on. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be right back one minute, sorry.
Sorry about that. My one roommate didn't get off work until uh fairly, fairly late, so all of the places we were going to go to eat are closing, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Happens. Um. Okay, so we refreshed all that, and then we're into round five. Okay. So I get my resources, which is three beef, five leaf, and a box. And then we sign ranchers. I'm still first player. So I'm gonna go for stegos. Need some, need me some stego. And let's roll it. Egg, nice. Okay, couple stegos right off the bat. Nice, nice, nice. Then he's going to do C, which means that he gets two. Oh, he would get two, but he gets one. And then one of my barriers is removed. Yeah, nuts. That's fine. <laughs> um, let's go for. Hmm. There's not gonna be any competition for these two, so maybe I should grab one of the cheap. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Regular guy for that. I'm gonna grab Parasolophus. Right there. There he is. Okay. And, yeah, it's his turn. B. There is a guy there, so he's going to get rid of another one of my barriers. Sounds like I need to get some more barriers, so I'm gonna. Okay. And, yeah, he needs to get a stego. Please. Please. No! He's got... Another Allosaurus. Ah, oh, man, he needs to get a dang Stego so that he can finish that off. Oh, boy. Okay. And I'm going to, before it gets too expensive... Brachiosaurus? No. No, I'm going to get another Velociraptor. Hopefully just one. Won't have space for more than that, but let's find out. Hey. Okay, that works for me. Then he gets... C. Already has it, so he's going to do that. Steal one of each of mine. Oh no, and he maxes out. Which means he steals... Oh, the Brachiosaurus I don't have. Back to zero. Okay, not too bad. And then, yeah, I could probably get one more dino. I could get one more dino. Am I going to be able to arrange it in a way to do that, though? No. No, I'm not. Well, yeah, let's just do this. And get one more Stego. Use up the last of my boxes. And he's going to do A, which means he takes another one of my barriers. Crap. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I'm not going to be able to manage that. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let me just do this, and then maybe, maybe I'll have a way. Maybe I'll have a way out of this. All right, got to grab my guys. And his guys. Okay. And then arrange the ranch. No, 
Okay, I'm gonna go with these stegos. Well, he's gonna escape regardless. We'll drop him there. Feed dinos. Well, these guys escape anyways. And I'm gonna lose a stego for it. So we're only gonna have to spend three leaf. That's fine. And then breed, I do get a third stego. And then we refresh. Gallimimus, Platicus, Egg Incubator. Uh, that lets you pay two supply to add any one regular dino to your holding area. Pretty good. Sorry, texting them real quick. Yeah, everything in this town closes super early. It's weird. Okay. So, that's everything refreshed. Sixth round. Gotta do something. Gotta do something. Okay, so I get my resources. We're gonna go with four leaf. And two beef. And two boxes. Because that's what he's does. That's what he's does. Uh, okay. So, we're going to start out by getting a raptor. Or, you know what? Let's do it the safe way. No reason not to. Then he's gonna go to A. Fine. That means he does that action. Gets rid of one of my barriers. Well, whatever. Because we're going to... Do this, which cost me some of this supply to drop my guy in there. And I'm not even going to pull up the thing. Let's see, nothing there, so he just gets another one of these. And I'm going to. Yeah, we're going to fulfill a contract with these guys. There we go, another fulfilled contract. And unfortunately, can't do that one. Could I? Do I want to risk it? No, 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 I don't, I don't care that much. D, nothing there, so he gets an out. Well, no, he doesn't, he just takes one of my things. So I'm going to need to do this to get a thing back. And then he goes to C, which lets him take another one. Ugh. Okay. This is really annoying. I don't know. I guess we'll do this. And we'll go for this one. Um, that's the guy. I got plenty of leaf for him. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's the one. D, he does blue. Steel of Velociraptor. I don't got any. Ah! Got one over on you. Sorry, emotions. Okay. And then, yeah, that's all of it. Not going to bother cleaning up because it's the sixth round. Then we arrange the ranch. I'm going to arrange it like so. And feed dinos. I need four, which I definitely have. Then breed dinos. Get him right there. And then we would refresh, but what's the point? Last round. So let's see 
what he's got over here. We got, let's see, 23, 28. Uh, whoop, there we go, 28. Discarded. Get rid of that. And his dinos. Nine for the Velociraptors. Should bring us up to 37. Six for these. Brings us up to 43. And 12 for those. This brings us up to 55. I think I can beat 55. Get that out of there. Contracts. 30, 40. Okay, that's a good sign. Start out with 40. Uh, Whatever, two of mine. And then these, which is another four. So 44. And then we get six. I already did him. So another six. Only brings me up to 50. Crap. Ah, oh, he won by five. Well, that's annoying. Oh, well. Whatever. It's a solo game, so you know what? I only lost by a little bit, so I'm not too, too upset about it. And I think a couple games here. Yeah. Hour 20 seems like a decent enough stream for me. So, I, yeah, I'm going to end it here. I will be doing Tiny Epic Games every Tuesday, mostly this one, to start out until I get more of them. Um, and then on Thursdays, I'm going to be doing solo games. So I'm going to be playing the solo version of Vast the Mysterious Manor this Thursday by Leader Games. So hope you guys will tune in for that. Hope you have a good time with it. In the meantime, I want to thank you very much for watching, whether it's in the past, the present, or the future. If you missed the beginning of this stream and you want to check it out, or you want to see any of my old streams, check out the past, past fumbling all over my words today, past broadcasts tab, where you can see the last 60 days worth of streams, or check out Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which is linked down below on the browser version that has all of my past streams. You can also just look up Iggy Kid Twitch Archive on YouTube. All my past broadcasts are on there. Um, what else? Icky Kid Twitch Archive. Right, if you want to catch any future streams, there's a schedule down below as well that says what game on what day. Uh, or you could click the lion icon over there-ish and go to the schedule tab and it'll say what hour and what game on what day. But that's all subject to change, so if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my streams, follow over there which is the uh, heart icon and it will give you a notification every time i go live on the app or in email or however you like it you can also follow me on twitter at iggy d kid and i tweet every time i go live so turn on notifications you know about 30 minutes beforehand and if you would be so kind please consider subscribing it's various tiers you know it does cost a bit for you each month but it helps out the channel a great deal i'd really appreciate it and you get custom emotes and badges so that's pretty fun um and if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can link your Twitch account to your Amazon account and you get one free subscription a month. So I'd appreciate if you consider giving me that free subscription, but do whatever you like with it. I just want to thank you for inviting me into your home, your computer, your laptop, your tablet, your phone, your, uh, I think I already said phone, game console, your Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch today, Fire Stick or whatever. Um, I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope, uh, you know, you had a good time. I hope you'll join me on Thursday for Vast the Mysterious Manor, which will be in a similar manner to this, probably more widescreen. I just don't need as wide a screen for this. You don't need to see all my lights and stuff on either side. And, hey, if no one else has told this to you, I'll tell this to you. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hold on. I'm going to raid you all over. One sec. Yeah, let me see who is streaming. Ooh, looks like Pink Room Gaming is streaming, so I'll probably send you over that away. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, or is there someone else I'd want to do? Not Pink Room Gaming seems to be the best one right now. So we're just going to pop that up and turn it down.
All right. Let Pink Room Gaming know that I sent you. Have a good time. Enjoy the stream. Good night, everybody. Goodbye.